the same thing just like multiplication, you're simply going to divide your real terms and then are here divide your uh, numbers here 22 and 11 and then you're going to divide 10 to the third divided by 10 to the fourth did I say 11 yes, you did. I was saying the answer again in my head before I'm actually doing it so you're going to divide 22 and 2 which gives you 11 right and then remember now when you divide power or exponents with the same base you subtract their exponents so that's 3 minus a negative 4 so since I'm minusing a negative 4, that's a double negative. So I get 11 times 10 to the seventh power. All right. Now, if we we're going to look at this, notice that this is not between 1 and 10, correct? Let's look at what this number looks like. This is 11. The decimal point is right there. And seven zeros look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So if I was going to write this, I would have to move the decimal point over 7 units to the right. Correct? However, I need my decimal point to be right here. So therefore, how many, de how many values to the right am I going to have to move if the decimal point's right here? Eight. So instead of writing 11 times 10 to the seventh, I want you to write 1.1 .1 times 10 to the eighth. Now that is in scientific notation. OK?